Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today I think it's Vlogmas Day 13 because I think that my days are off. I know that the video with Jackson should have been day 11, might be 12, might be 13. I, I do not even try to remember. So it's Vlogmas one of the days. We're glad you're here. Um, I am without my children right now. It is for us, it's Sunday, December 22nd. And we just got done doing a Christmas program at our church. At the same time, the kids go to a youth group that is about 45 minutes away from where we live. But their youth group was coming by the church, uh, going to a movie. So they usually, if they do, a, if they do a Sunday morning early thing with the youth, they will bring the bus and pick the kids up. So they did that. And while the kids are away, because after they do the movie, they're going back to the church to do a little bit of a celebration. It makes no sense for me to go all the way 45 minutes home, the opposite direction, then to only have to come 45 minutes back into the other direction to pick them up and then go 45 minutes back home. That's too much. So it's 1242 right now. We just left the church. I just helped finish, help everybody clean up and all the things. Um, I'm at Aldi. And the reason I'm at Aldi is because um, we do Christmas breakfast. And so my son, I always make an open invitation to people. If you don't have a place to go for Christmas or you can't get home to your family, um, come to our house our house is open we usually do we usually have more adults than kids because um we do breakfast and so the people who aren't worried about being there opening up their gifts and all the things you know like like hey we'll we'll do breakfast there's no problem we do it at 9 a.m so my kids are usually there and i always tell my son i said if you know any people who don't have anywhere you bring them to us it's no problem we've done that every single year and we've had somebody every single year so i have um coach d from the kids taekwondo is coming he's been there the last two years this will be his third christmas with us jamaica's coming she's bringing a friend named bob and then trandon texted me yesterday he was going to bring two friends now he's up to four or five friends and so then I texted another friend of mine, Stephanie, yesterday, and I said, hey, if you don't have plans, you're welcome with us. She says, well, me and Janice, we're going to spend the day together. Can she come as well? Absolutely. Bring all the bring all the friends. Not going to matter to us. With that being said, that means that I've got to plan strategically. I don't have a large budget for groceries right now, but I've asked my kids to help. So Trandon is bringing the bacon. He said he wanted cinnamon rolls, so he's bringing that because I don't eat cinnamon rolls. And then he's also going to bring some drinks. I'm going to have Coach D bring some drinks. Shamika's bringing fruit. And then she's bringing anything she needs vegan because I don't do vegan. So I'm going to go to Aldi. I'm just pricing things today. I'm not really... Pick I'm going to pick up eggs if they have them on sale. But I'm not really picking up anything. I just want to go down the list of, of seeing what things are going to cost. And then I'm going to try to write them down. We are thinking... Cinnamon rolls, a pancake station, an omelet station, bacon. I'm either going to do cheesy weenies, like cheesy sausage cut up. And then I usually take keto brown sugar and spread it over it and put that in the oven. Biscuits and gravy. Egg omelet. I mean, egg casserole. I'm think grits, but I'm thinking shrimp and grits. And then, um, oh man, what was the last thing I was thinking of? And I can't remember right now. I said biscuits and gravy. Radish hash is what I was thinking with some um, sausage. So I'm going to just, I want to go in here and price things out to see what I'm looking at spending for right now between 11 and 15 people. And I think we have enough variety going around that everybody will be able to have something. Oh, and then Alana and I were gonna make some muffins, some different kinds of muffins. We have marmalade. And then I wanted to make cranberry sauce. 
because one of the couples in our church, an older couple, uh, we were with them for Thanksgiving and they loved the cranberry sauce. So I told them I would make another batch and bring them some, but they were not there today. So I have some time. I won't see them probably till the first of the year. If I don't get the cranberry sauce made, it's no problem. I have some time. Cause they pulled me aside one Sunday and like, your cranberry sauce is so amazing. <laughs> and I'm like, well, thank you. Um, I found that I found a recipe on Pinterest and then I just keto fied it for my family. Um, it's probably considered dirty keto. I don't know what people would consider it, but it's keto fied for us and we, we like it. So again, I'm just going to go in Aldi and then price things and see what I'm looking at as far as how much I need to spend. In my purse, I have $26. Um, I have to return something to Walmart that'll give me another $4, so that's $30. I told my son to plan for about $30, so that's $60 between my stuff and his stuff, and then, of course, Shamika's bringing her own stuff. So I'm limited in what I have to spend, but I'm hoping that I get a, some YouTube money in. I'm hopeful. And um, if I get YouTube money in, then that'll give me a little bit to play with because I always want to make sure that I go above and beyond. And then I have a ham. I have a whole ham that we were going to use for Christmas dinner. So what I'm thinking about, well, it's not a whole ham, it's like a half, but it's spiral precise. So I was thinking I can cut that in half and do ham chunks on the side instead of doing a little cheesy sausage. If I can't afford that, I would just do the ham. So I'm gonna keep it within my budget and not overspend. That is not, I'm not taking 2020. I'm not going into 2020 doing 2019. So. I'm going to stay in my budget, use what I have, use the means that I have, and um, see what I can get. So go with me into Aldi and let's see what they have going on. All right, y'all. So I'm in Aldi, and you know it's about to be um, planner time. And I saw this planner, and it was so pretty, but I couldn't figure out why it said Welcome Baby on it. I, th I just thought it was pretty. Um, and then I started looking. This is a baby planner. So it talks about, um, it has, it's a 12 month format, tab quick reference, monthly and weekly grids, planning section, keepsake pages, contact pages, checklist, helpful tips, uh, tips and information, two pockets, pages, notes pages, and then clear plastic sleeve. So when I open it up, it tells you it's the mom to be planner. This is very pretty. You can put your due date in there. Um, it does have this uh, ruler thing that you can take out and put back in, which I've seen in uh, lots of planners before. Um, for those of us who like our, you know, straight lines and all the things. Okay, so then it says congratulations to the mom. Here's your contact information. It's your obstetrician, your midwife, or your doula, the birth and centipede specialist, all the things. Um, then we're pregnant, so your pregnant story, then the mom and dad story, how we met, blah, blah, blah. Um, mom and dad story continues. Here's some photos you want to put in. So really neat. Um, our family, so you have your family uh, chart, baby names that you're considering. And then um, here's your checklist by trimester. And then it goes into the planner. So you have the two page monthly spread, some notes, and then this is this is undated, so you would put your dates in. And here's what I here's what kind of got me thinking. I'm like, okay, why does this look like this? And then I had to go back and check, and it was the mom to be planner. So it has the days. This is a um a one page two two page for two weeks. So one page is each week. So Monday, this is how many ounces of water did mom drink, I guess. This could be how many hours did the baby sleep and then any appointments that you need to put in. Here's your to-dos, how your feelings, memories, and milestones. And then it talks about, you know, you can put the baby's weight, their belly size, or your belly size, cravings. This is, I guess, if you're still, maybe this is before you have the baby. Because it's 12 months, so you're probably still pregnant at some point in here. Unless you buy it after you have the baby. Um, cravings you have, things that you don't love, and then anything else you want to write down. And then it also has, at the end of the weeks, you have a notes page. Then you can have your baby bump photo and information, and then your to-dos 
and then another notes page. So that was cute. Then they have, let me see where I can put this. Okay, I'll put it right here. That's where it came from. Then they have something called the parent planner. So again, that same, you know, ruler thing. But then here's all your family information, which I like this. And then they have birthdays and anniversaries. 90% um, of parenting is just thinking about when you can lie down again. True. So this month, this is your month at a glance. And then you have, oh, this is neat. Okay, people. So Aldi, let me see if I can find a price for you. Um, I don't see a price, but it should be more than about $10, $12, maybe not even that. But here's your monthly budget, right? So you can write down all of your things. If you want to keep the paper planner, right? You can put your groceries and then you can even put it down for the week. You have your utilities, your mortgage, loans, entertainment, internet, dining out, personal family, emergencies, transportation, and then other. And then keep your total down here. Then you have your chore chart. So who does what on what day? And then you can check that off. You can also add in chores that you don't see here. Neat, neat, neat. I like having everything in a one-stop shop. Then you have, okay, so you have a two-page weekly spread. But you can also put, um, okay, so this is, this might be Mom, Jackson, Alana, Tran, and Shamika. So each of the tabs is a different color or each of the names is a different color. So this is all of Mom's, all of... Alana's, all of Jackson, all of Trin, all of Shamika's. And then you also have a place down here where you put your menu, which is really good because you can do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, you know, or you can say, um, again, breakfast, lunch, or breakfast, snack, one lunch, snack, two, dinner, or, you know, if somebody else is taking a different lunch, or you can do meal prep, you can put that down here too. I think that would be good. Um, but I love that. So let's get to the end of this one and see if there's anything else. Okay. At the end. So you have a notes page. Several notes pages. But you might want to take several notes there. And then it goes back into the next month. This one also has stickers. I didn't check to see if the baby planner had stickers. But um, I like this one. So there are some stickers in there. Appointments, birthdays, date night, traveling. Okay, I can use those travel stickers because I already have some stuff. Um, these could be cleaning days for Fly Lady. If you're doing Fly Lady, you have any of those. Meal plan, meal plan, and then me time. These are cute stickers. Really cute. And then they have different ones. So that's a cute one. And then they have this um, clear, you know, clear folder if you want to put anything else in there. See, is it a top down? Oh, let me see. Yes, it's a top down. So you can stick stuff in there. If you want to do menus for your restaurants that are close to you, you can do that. So that's a cute one as well. And then I see this wellness planner. And they have several different wellness planner uh, choices. So here's your personal profile information. And then it talks about goal writing. Setting time boundaries, choosing attainable goals, um, appreciating your progress. Then it says, um, this year I want more of this and less of this. Then you have your goals for your body, your mind, soul, relationships, love, work and home. Really cute. Okay, then you have your life goals. You have your um, five years, lifetime, hopes and dreams. Place a photo here. And then your starting weights and all the things. And then it says, only look back to see how far you've come. And then it gives you your wellness. So here's your inspirational quote, word of the month, fears to overcome, becoming. Oh, I love this. I just really love this. So what I'm going to ask you, oh, look. Okay, so on Monday, this asks you for your sleeping hours and your food log, calorie tracker. This is a weekly weigh-in. Today, how do you feel? Exercise, water. And then it goes for each day of the week. So a two-week spread, weekly tasks, accomplishments, motivations, and then what you're grateful for. Love, love, love. So here's what I want to do for this. Because I love this, right? And so you'll see this after. 
you see this right around the last week in the last week of the month so leave me a comment down below which of these planners you would really like and I will do a giveaway on my channel probably around the first of the year because I'll keep it open for a week so I love this um, wellness tracker that was one and hopefully they'll still have these in when when I draw and then here was just a different one same thing just a different um, cover uh, let's see oh here's a different cover for the parent uh, planner but it's still the same still has the same things and let's see if every month oh yes every month it has the budget sheet so I love that one every month it has the budget and the chore chart so right before you go into the week it has the budget and the chore chart so I want to give one of these away leave me a comment down below as to which one of these you would really like I'll do my very best to find the one you want um, and be able to get it to you they do have quite a few in this Aldi that I'm in. This is not close to my house at all. But I'm prayerful that by the time... Oh! And look, y'all. Here's a wedding one. So one for your wedding. I'm taking a lot of time to go over this one, but... Love this. Ten, the top 10 tips for your wedding. Congratulations on your engagement. You've got your tips there. How we met. Your engagement. Put your photos in. Um, quick reference to all your vendors so that was there and then it gives you okay your wedding party if you're having a big shindig um, 9 to 14 months out then you have 6 to 8 months 4 to 6 months oh these are so pretty 2 to 4 and then the month of then the week of and then it goes into your overall vision for the wedding um, ideas, pictures. This is where you would write down all your Pinterest stuff, hair, makeup, flowers, um, cake decorations. These are, these are all the things. And then, of course, you would start making your monthly plans. And then let's see what the weeks look like. Oh, it just has to do's. This one doesn't have weeks. It just has to do's and then notes. And then here's a bullet, you know, like for anybody that does bullet journaling, there's a dot grid sheet. So this one doesn't have the weeks in it, but it does have notes for, so this is strictly for planning the wedding. Oh, look, wait, wait, wait. So going back, okay, if we keep moving along, in the last section, it has your budget tracker. So it says budget tracker. Your um, officiants information, your reception venue. This is good to put together. And then what you can do is give this to your person who on the day of is helping you or your wedding coordinator would have this. And then they could, you know, so you're not worried about getting yourself ready for the wedding and then trying to figure things out. If something were to go, you know, not according to plan, you could just easily hand this to somebody Here's your menu, the final menu, any notes you need to make. Um, if you're doing a wet bar, um, if you're doing the cake, this is dresses, this is hair, makeup, groom stuff, invitations, floor, so pretty. Cocktail hour, if you're doing that, you can always change this if you want to make that something else other than cocktail hour. Reception music, photography, right? And then so here's some a list of pictures that you could take if you're doing photography so you don't miss anything. So a list of that, which I think is very nice. And then um, videographers info, hotel info, transportation. So everything you would think of. I mean, plus some stuff, I'm sure. And then it goes into, um, oh man, you get the guest list wedding gifts so that when you're doing your um, thank yous you have who brought what and then you have your seating chart if you're doing table numbers um, you can write or do your seating diagram here if you want to do something different than what they have um, and then registry for your thank yous and then all of the things especially if this is a first wedding it tells you all the things that you might want to have and then you can do your thank you notes um, this is a beautiful guide. This is very, very pretty. And y'all, you don't have to go to those name brand expensive stores and um, 
you know, you can just go right to Aldi. They have these. So name change checklist. Where do you change your names at? Where do you get your, le you know, legal documents and different things? And just this is such a beautiful planner. I'm trying to see if they have stickers. Oh, they do have some stickers in here. So there's some stickers, uh, which are very, very pretty. Very lovely. This has three pages of stickers. So I like that one. I'm glad I looked at that one. They have a ton of these. So check your Aldi in case you, you don't win the giveaway. But again, leave me a comment down below as to which of these you would like. And if you win, I will make sure that you get it. That parent planner speaking to me, the wedding planner speaking to me. Um, there are no more babies coming to my house to live. So praise the Lord. Um, but I want it for you. So, anywho, still doing my shopping. I just thought they, they were so beautiful that I took all that time to explain it. But I just love those. So, moving right along. Okay, you guys. So, I'm back home from Aldi. It's actually the next day. And I wrote down, I didn't have my list with me at the time. So, I just wrote down a couple things that, uh, prices that I found of things I might need. So, they had um, pineapples for $1.29, which I later saw was right there. Strawberries were $1.89. Bananas were $0.38 cents a pound. They had radishes for $1.29 a pack. Mushrooms were $1.29. Um, spinach was $1.39. And then they had a bag of onions for $1.49. I would have to chop those. Then they had grits for $1.29. Olive oil was $2.49 to $4.99, depending on uh, the size. Yogurt, the big thing of yogurt was $3.45. And I thought about getting a big yogurt. And then just having different things that people could use like um, granola and I was going to make that cranberry sauce or whatever. Butter was $1.99 and then their tube sausage was $1.99. So I think those were all the things that I wrote down as far as items we needed. Uh, yeah, their countryside butter was $1.99. Um... Shamika talked about crescent rolls, but I'm letting her do that because that's not something I'm going to spend money on. She's going to buy her own things. Trandon is going to bring the bacon and some drinks and some cinnamon rolls. I already have some cinnamon rolls. So I'm just trying to go through and make sure that there's not anything else I needed to pick up. And I was planning to write a few notes down in my um, Life and Apples planner to see if there was anything else I needed to pick up. So here I am just trying to go through. I picked this up on the way in yesterday when I was, oh, here are the planners y'all. Personal weekly monthly planners. So I am doing a giveaway. Remember if anybody is interested in joining the give the giveaway to make sure that you, um, Leave a comment down below as to which one you would like and why you want it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, so you must be a subscriber. And I am not going to respond to the comments because I don't want to get caught up in the um, selector, but I will like your comment. So I know if I liked it, I read it, but I don't want to get caught up in it. Um, I just want to make sure that everybody that joins the um, giveaway gets a fair opportunity so i won't respond to any of the comments but i will like them and so i am i had one giveaway that i did not send because it was international and so i am going to make good on that but this giveaway is going to just be stateside so sorry my international folks sometimes that shipping is a little much so i'm going to just keep it stateside and um so anybody within the continental United States can enter and maybe I'll do something a little later for my international people, but I'm sorry, y'all, but anywho, check out those, um, planners if you're interested in finding one for January, but I think I've exhausted this paper and I can get everything that I need over at Aldi. So after I take Jackson to the doctor, we are heading to Aldi and then I will share with you our uh, Christmas breakfast haul. Okay, you guys, so I, when I was sitting in the um, doctor's office with Jackson, I came up with a brief, oh goodness, 
See, I had had just some ideas for Christmas breakfast, things we wanted to do. And from this list, here's what I came up with. We're going to do a omelet bar. So I'll just uh, have things out for to make omelets. Well, I'm going to do radish hash. And this is just going to be, um, we're going to dice up the radishes. And we're going to use some onions. And I have a tube of uh, tube sausage. So I'm gonna mix those two together with some onions and pepper blend that I have. We are gonna do a pancake station. This is gonna be a non-keto pancake station for the kids. I'm not gonna eat any of this. So I will let them do that uh, because they, they wanted that. And last year we had different little things you could add to your pancakes like uh, berries and chocolate chips and blah, blah, blah. So we'll have that. Cinnamon rolls, which are non-keto as well. Um, I have three things. Trandon is bringing two things. Now, I'm doing a meat treat, which is the ham that I have that I was going to cook for Christmas dinner. I'm just going to take half of it, and I'm going to cube it. And then I've got some cheesy sausage that I'm going to dice. And then we're going to uh, put some brown sugar over that into the oven, and that's going to be our meat. We're going to have a grit station, and of course, we'll do cheesy grits and ham if anybody wants that. Bacon, I'm going to do the rosettes like um, Jay Morrell Stewart does hers when she cooks tons of bacon. She just wraps them around, but we're going to make brown sugar bacon rosettes. We are going to do a yogurt bar. So I have yogurt. I have some limited fruit. We have some jam and I got some granola. This is for the non-keto folks. And then we are doing um, pumpkin muffins. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Southern Keto's cake recipe Add in the pumpkin like I made it, the pumpkin cake. I'm just going to put them in mu mu muffin tins. So I will be able to eat from the omelet bar, the radish hash, the meat treats, bacon, and then muffins if that's what I want. But everything else the kids will be able. And Shamika's bringing some vegan something. And then Trandon is bringing um, bacon and he's doing some drinks. And... Uh, we should be pretty set right now. It looks like we're going to be between 11 and 15 people. So we'll see. Everybody has invited three or four or five people each, plus our family. We will see who shows up. So let me show you what I was able to get from the grocery okay, store. Okay, so in no particular order or store, I didn't divide it this time. I shopped at Walmart and at Aldi's. Oh, and we went to Dollar Tree. So I got two pans from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to do my meat treat in one. And then I wasn't sure what I needed the other one for, but I just got, it was two in a pack, so I'll use it. We picked up some hot cups just for coffee or hot chocolate, whoever wants that. We do have mugs, but I'm trying not to have a lot of dishes. And then we just picked up regular cups because we don't have any of those and napkins. So all of that from Dollar Tree. Then we went over to Walmart. I got two things of coffee. I got peppermint mocha and I got donut shop. We got two things of the Nestle uh, cocoa hot cocoa if anybody wants that. I needed coconut oil. Um, we picked up yogurt from Walmart and we also picked up the pancake mix. Two syrups, one is sugar-free, one is not. We got all the cheeses that I'll use for the bar or the omelets and that's what we got at Walmart. And then Aldi, I picked up the blueberries, the bananas, the apples, and the little mini oranges, the granola, the spinach, the cheesy brats. I got three packages of these. I got two packages of the radishes that we're going to dice, the pineapple, the paper towels. Those came from, no, the paper towels came from Aldi. The napkins came from Walmart and then the, the spoons and forks. I was going to use what I have. But then I said, let me pick those up from Walmart. And I didn't get them from Dollar Tree because they're a little bit more flimsy at Dollar Tree. But again, I'm trying to downsize my cleanup. So I picked up those. And at Aldi, I got the olive oil. I just needed that for home. We picked up the uh, unsweetened vanilla almond, a can of pumpkin, butter, sausage. I'm confused where I was shopping at now. <laughs> Okay, let me go back. From Walmart, coffee and hot chocolate, coconut oil, forks and spoons, napkins, cheese, pancakes and syrup, 
and the yogurt from Walmart. Aldi sausage butter pumpkin olive oil unsweetened vanilla almond milk paper towels spinach granola pineapple cheesy brats radishes blueberries bananas apples and oranges came from Aldi and then these pralines came from Dollar Tree so that is what we are going to be using in addition to what we already have plus Trandon is bringing bacon and some drinks and Shamika's doing her vegan things and some croissants I have sweet biscuits and I have um some cinnamon rolls in the fridge I also have a package of bacon and I think I have another pack of the roll sausage in the freezer so between everything we have here and what the older kids are bringing I think we're going to be perfect for our Christmas breakfast we do want to thank you all so much for stopping by if you like this video be sure and give it a thumbs up if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button we lo love to keep you as a part of our YouTube family also hit the bell that way you never miss an upload from us don't forget about the planner giveaway it's statewide so sorry my international folks I love you guys and I'll do something for you very soon. But if you want to be a part of the giveaway, go ahead and like this video. Make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment down below telling us which planner you like and why you think you need it. We will do a drawing for that. This uh, giveaway is going to be open for one week. So anywho, I've got a sick kid that I have to tend to. We love you all so much. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye now.